Hello, everybody. Oh. Most of you um, have not only been colleagues of mine, but have become really dear and close friends of mine that I am 100% sure I'll stay in touch with and continue to follow and continue to learn from. And that's really what this is about. I've, I've been really humbled to hear some of you talk about your own learning, but I truly have learned so much um, since I've been at PEPS, so much about so many things beyond just being an executive director and leading an organization. And um, that's because of you. And I have to tell the story of last year I did my, um, my end of year performance evaluation. And the feedback, um, some feedback that I got on that is that I didn't do a very good job of evaluating myself because my comments were all, we accomplished this and we accomplished this, um, and including the board and the staff in that. And um, I appreciated that feedback, of course. And it also just goes to show how these last three and a half years have really been us together. And I think about, I was laughing Dila saying, co-conspirators, I think the OG conspirators were the hiring committee who um, Mary Ellen was on that team and, you know, Colleen and Camille and Lori who, um, Mary Ellen just read her words, but, you know, you all really had a vision for PEPS before I had ever heard of PEPS. And I found that amongst the team on the staff as well. Um, those of many of you in this room who are still at PEPS today really had this deeper vision for PEPS. Um, and so I want to thank you all who were there and all of you in this room who have been with PEPS long before I ever even knew of it um, for all of the seeds you planted and vision. Um, this has certainly been a major time of reflection for me, you know, leaving um, a city that I love and a job that I love. Um, and I'm just really proud to be associated with this organization and to have been a part of it and to continue to be a part of it as I leave. Um, and so kind of keeping along with the theme of that togetherness, I did want to touch on a few things that we did accomplish together over these last three and a half years. Transformation has been really the word at PEPS for these last few years. And like I mentioned, that has taken a whole lot of people. You know, transformation can't happen if there are people around who don't want it to happen um, or who are neutral about that happening. And so we had a huge um, team, both on staff, on the board, our group leaders, and many of you in this room who have financially invested in that transformation. Um, you all know, all of you, if you're in this room, you know that PEPS has, um, years ago, took the step to really prioritize racial equity. And we didn't really know what that meant whenever we made that decision. We knew why we wanted to do that, but we didn't know what that looked like for PEPS. And so the transformation that's taken place over the last few years has been really in a nuanced way that's really unique to the identity of PEPS, thinking about what does that look like? I think to so many people who initially heard that, the immediate response was, how many people of color are you serving now? How many, what are your numbers? What are your percentages? Give me all the data. And for PEPS, what that meant was we needed to reconcile a little bit with our history first. And we needed to build on a lot of the great work that we were doing, but that we were doing within sort of a limited part of the city. And um, limited scope of perspective. And it meant us taking some time and doing a lot of hard work that nobody really could see from the outside, which is always challenging um, as a leader <laughs> to be doing really hard work without really being able to show, um, show a lot of data for it. But I'm so proud of our team um, because that type of work, as you all know, isn't like going to an Excel course <laughs> and checking off a new skill that you have and then knowing how to do it and moving on. This is deeply personal and transformative work that is required of every single person involved. And so I'm just looking at so many of you in this room who have been doing that work, who have been leading that work, um, who have been guiding that work. And for us it meant, um, like Debbie was talking about, shifting the center of the organization and the w being willing to question the way that we have been doing things both from an organi organizational structure 
um, sort of way, to a personnel policies and procedures sort of way, to the people that we have on our team, the people we have influencing our perspective and our leadership on our board and staff, hearing voices from the community. Um, and so I'm just really honored and proud to have been walking alongside all of you doing that. It feels really good to be leaving at a time where the fruits of that work are really starting to um, take shape out towardly in the community and to see our curriculum and our programming influenced by that, to see our partnerships and our program model shifting. Um, and so thank you. I also wanted to just touch on um, we have not one, not two, but three community connectors on our team now who are really the face of PEPs out in the community. And um, I just couldn't be more proud to work alongside them and this, the team that supports them at PEPs and really be able to engage with parents, organization, organizations and communities to really learn what the true needs are. Um, that has been a massive shift for PEPs to have that intel and that those relationships and friendships coming in from the community. I want to celebrate with you all what we did together around flexible pricing. Woo! Yes. We now have a model at PEPS where a parent can sign up and choose um, one of four payment options based on what they can afford or an option to not pay at all. And um, that is one element of what we mean by access. There are many, um, but we are really excited to see that shifting who is able to participate in PEPS. We also have embraced this sort of idea and philosophy of an adaptable model, and that is um, very much tied to our equity work around there not being a one-size-fits-all way to serve families in our region. And if we really want to make a meaningful impact, we have to adapt the way that we do that. So I'm excited for you all, and I'm excited for myself to stay in touch and follow along as the PEPS model continues to shift and adapt to be more accessible, available, and relevant to families. Partnerships. Um, we have created some deeply meaningful partnerships these last few years that have not only allowed us to, um, you know, bring PEPs to new communities that we hadn't historically served, but to also learn so much about how to do that. Um, super humbled by, and you know, I obviously think of Open Arms, Dila is here, and that partnership has been so. Um, not just impactful to the folks that we've been able to serve, but so deeply educational for PEPs and transformative for PEPs. It's been largely responsible for helping us see the ways that we can adapt and shift. Um, we've had partnerships with Valley Medical and um, Cocoon House and a group of partners there. Um, and there are so many more, so many more on the horizon that I'm excited to follow along with, but that has been rich, rich for PEPs. We have doubled our staffing and doubled the size of our budget <laughs> in the last yeah. several years and that alone wouldn't be that impressive but it's what we have been able to do with that um, expanded capacity that so many of you have helped make possible so thank you. We've strengthened our curriculum and training and um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is something that I don't get to talk about a lot about PEPs because I'm typically in rooms where I'm talking more about that external impact. Um, but since I have you here, <laughs> your captive audience, um, this also goes hand in hand with our priorities around equity. We have invested the last few years in being an organization that lives our values from the inside out. And I think that is something that um, you might hear about from people who work at PEPs or people who serve on the board who really enjoy it <laughs> and who really love it. But it's something that um, our staff and board team have all collectively contributed to and it's something that I'm really, really proud of um, from adopting paid family leave at PEPS for our employees, yes, um, to improving our equitable policies, truly living a flexible work culture and environment where you can have kids, you can care for family members, you can go to school, you can truly live um, your life and have a job that's flexible and making an impact. Um, and, you know, I think the reason that I am so proud of that and the reason that I want to share it is that really matters. And I want you all to know who are investing in PEPs, supporting PEPs, 
that um, your time, your resources, your energy are going to an organization that truly um, embraces and creates space for every member of our community, including staff, including our volunteers, including our board. So thank you so much for helping make that possible. Okay, so I really think it sounds odd. I say it's bittersweet that I'm leaving and really the bitter part is selfish um, <laughs> because I've been so spoiled at PEPS. PEPS is just an amazing place to work, an amazing place to be a part of. But at the same time, I really can't think of a better time um, not a better time to leave, but a better time to welcome new leadership into the organization. Um, PEPS, through this transformative journey that we all have talked about, um, PEPS has, re has recently adopted new mission, vision, organizational values, and a new five-year strategic direction. That's really powerful and really informed by the communities that we serve. And I'm so excited. Um, about the momentum that is going, that has really transpired at Pets and that is still going. Um, and I'm really excited for new leadership to be able to come into an organization that has such clear vision, such strong momentum, and such powerful impact and take it and run with it. Pets could not be more poised for this transition because of those um, foundational pieces that we've recently adopted, reinforced, um, and just, been working on for years and I just wanted to give a shout out to our board and staff because I've I've been working in the and sort of in the background these last couple weeks from Oklahoma and already I'm like Peps doesn't need me <laughs> like Peps staff has gotten this and I actually wanted to Kinte's over here Dana's over here Marion's over here is Carrie here okay well those are members of our leadership team and we have um, several other staff members here who are very much part of our leadership at PEPS as well. I think one of the special things about all of this work we've been doing is that we see our work as um, community informing our staff, our staff informing leadership, our leadership informing board, and all of us talking and connecting with each other to ensure that our strategies and direction are truly, truly relevant and necessary. And so I just couldn't have more faith in the staff and board to continue the momentum that's going. Um, and I want to use this as an opportunity. I just kind of introduced the leadership team, um, but super excited the board has appointed Dana Guy as the acting executive director. <laughs> and Dana has been serving as the deputy director at PEPS um, for years now and has just really been my um, partner in crime, or as I like to say, partner in justice <laughs> um, for the last few years. I just, um, so much of the work that has happened that sometimes I get credit for um, could not have been possible without um, my partnership with Dana and the leadership team. And um, Dana has this really great skill. She's very, in fact, we did the Strengths Finders thing. One, like all of my strengths were in like in strategy <laughs> like one and we're all kind of have our like you know have our strengths Dana is balanced she's super strong in every area of leadership um, she has the ability to be super strategic but not forget about the details she's deeply committed to racial equity and has been such an important voice um, alongside me these last few years so I couldn't be more thrilled to hand that over I already I already have and um, it feels really amazing to know um, that Peps is in such great hands and the momentum is not slowing down at all so help me welcome Dana in that role. and lastly I just wanted to close by kind of thinking reflecting back when I was moving from Alaska to take this job and Many of you know that in Alaska, I was working in the field of trauma, um, not just in a direct service capacity, but I had been doing a lot of research um, on a community level around um, prevention of trauma, but really kind of what heals trauma, and not on an individual level, but on a community level. And um, all of the, and we, we had heavily funded research going into being a trauma-informed and resilient community and studying this question of how does a whole community really live life in a trauma-informed, healthy, resilient, whole way. And everything 
learning came back to connection. And it was connection to self and connection to the earth and connection to each other. And my passion among, um, um, in, the, in that is really heavily, I'm so drawn to the connection to one another. And was fortunate in Alaska to be able to be a part of a lot of initiatives where we really got to see, uh, got to bring more opportunities for connection to our community and see the fruit of that. And um, I think coming to PEPS, and I hadn't heard of PEPS before Emily reached out to me um, and shared the position with me, um, but one thing that drew me to this role was that PEPS was doing that, um, you know, usually even before a baby was born. You know, PEPS was offering this gift of um, space, holding space, creating space for community and connection to happen at a very vulnerable and pivotal time in a family's life. And, you know, from coming from Homer and studying this work, you know, Mary Ellen often talks about PEPS as a solution and uses the word solution, and I love that. And PEPS is, or connection is also an antidote. It's an antidote to suffering, and it can heal suffering. It can prevent suffering. And um, I was so intrigued to be a part of an organization that is not only making that possible, but is influencing culturally um, that that is necessary and important and normalizing that on a community level. And so that's how I leave PEPS as well. So deeply honored to have been a part and played a role in that for these last three and a half years. I'll take so much of this with me and I'm so excited to continue to follow and support this organization um, for many years to come. So thank you all so much and thank you for being here.